Greetings, Taku Faithful. Thank you for joining me again this week. Once again, it's Larry Williams, OAW Commander-in-Chief, and I'm here to bring you all yet again another Sons of Anarchy episode review right here on Otaku Assemble! Weekly, as always, I'm here to bring you the latest in this week's Sons of Anarchy episode review, and this is my review of Season 5, Episode 12, entitled Dorothy. Now, general thoughts on the episode as a whole. I was appalled by this week's episode, mostly because of the final scene, which I'll discuss later on in this review. But from an overall standpoint, just the manner in which the just the events and the manner in which all of the conflicts, the the turn the turns that all of that has taken up to this point in this season um you know some i expected some i didn't and also just you know the one thing the one thing about this series that actually pisses me off um and it's not because it's necessarily a bad thing it's just because it you know it just gets on my nerves sometimes is how it's one thing to establish multiple conflicts within a season, right? I mean, we this season's had its fair share. But what I'm talking about is when the series starts compounding conflicts, when new conflicts come out of nowhere and they just get thrown on top of the pre-existing conflicts. And, and I'm not talking about, you know, sometimes it'll happen when the previous conflicts have been resolved. You see what I'm saying? When, when whatever, opposing force or opposing person whatever opposition has been previously presented sometimes it'll happen to once that's been resolved then the new conflict comes comes into the into the mix that i don't mind but i'm talking about when they start adding fuel to the fire when they start throwing more shit on top of the shit we've already gotten and yes i'm talking about the u.s marshal or the uh former u.s marshal but but, but that's what i'm talking about um, and I mean, hell, uh, well, no, I can't really count the thing with Wendy that I'll, I'll, I'll talk about Wendy in a minute. Um, but so yeah, that's, that's pretty much my general thoughts on the episode. Now, what I want to talk about in this week's episode, first and foremost, I do want to mention Gemma because surprisingly I have to come to Gemma's defense in this week's episode. I actually have to play devil's advocate for Gemma. Because here's my thing. Now, it was never stated in this week's episode where Gemma, you know, where she falls, you know, in regards to Jax. Because Re remember, remember, Jax and Gemma made a deal. Gemma was supposed to extract this information from Clay. That way Jax can bring it to the table, they can vote Clay out, all that jazz, right? And then of course Jax went and enlisted Juice to do the same thing. But this is what I'm talking about. Clay's gone. Clay, you know, he, he, he's been removed from the table, he's out of the club. So, now that Jax has gotten that done, where does that leave Gemma? You know, d does that mean that 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 deal is still is still good, even though she wasn't the one that that you know she wasn't the one that led to to Clay's exit? That that that's pretty much that's pretty much the question I want to pose in this week's review is where is Gemma in regards to Jax? Because regardless of whether or not Gemma was the one that got Jax the information. What Jax wanted, getting Clay out of the club, still happened. Now we know where she is with Tara. Tara still's not. Tara still isn't having that shit. She doesn't want Gemma anywhere around her kids. Okay, that makes sense. But I'm talking about Jax, and the reason why I say this is this. This is what I'm talking about. The reason why I feel like I have to come to Gemma's defense is because I have to beg the question: If Clay was going to get kicked out of the club completely separate 
from the deal that Gemma had to make with Jax, then what was the point of the fucking deal? We know that that deal and what Gemma had to do created created tension between her and Nero, and it also created this false facade of her wanting to get back with Clay, right? So what was the point of the deal? Was that it? Was, was the deal just put into place to create static? Because if that's the case, then what was the fucking point in trying to introduce a relationship between her and Nero to begin with? If, if that relationship wasn't going to lead to anything. Now, a lot of times in a lot of stories, you'll find that, you know, the whole failed relationship things, usually those are put into place, um, well, depending on what you're indulging yourself in, um, it could just be there just for the sake of drama, which I'm starting to think that's what this was. But in good and well-written stories, it's usually because the failed relationship is supposed to teach um, either either one character or both characters, you know, a life lesson or something about themselves. They're supposed to learn from that failed relationship. What I'm saying is this. Jax's deal created unnecessary tension between Gemma and Nero. And it added to the tension between Nero and Clay. And to... And especially with, oh, that's another thing. You know, Clay's, Clay's offer to Gemma to come with him to Belfast, that just, you, you see what I'm saying? That's just adding to it. So what I'm saying is, in hindsight, I think Jax's deal was bullshit because I don't see what it offers to the story as a whole. And I damn sure don't see, you know, I mean, Gemma got her shit together. She fucked up. She got her shit together, and it seems like Nero had something to do with that. And from what I can tell, it seems like Nero is more of a good influence than a bad one. So why implement the deal that's just gonna... Do you see what I'm saying? It's bullshit. And if... If... Okay, hypothetically speaking, let's say Gemma turns down Clay's offer in next week's episode. And, and you know, and that and that pretty much sets off Clay and that creates shit between them and potentially Nero can get caught up in that. If that happens, that's entirely I, I'm calling it now. That's entirely not Gemma's fault. Because if it wasn't for Jax implementing that deal to begin with, Gemma wouldn't have even been in that position. She would have just stayed with Nero and that would have been the end of it. She would have never even needed to fuck around with Clay anymore had it not been for Jax. That's Jax's fault. That's not Gemma's. Okay, I guess I should comment about the thing with Clay. I'll tell you this. Of course, Clay's, de you know, Clay's departure, that's been a long time coming. I did like Clay's plan, though, to kind of, to pretty much keep working with the Irish, but to do it separate from the club. I like that because that way both Clay and Jax get what they want. Well, except that the fact that Jax want Clay dead, but I'm saying clubs out clubs out of the gun running business with the Irish, Clay's doing it on his own, his own little crew. It's a win-win. Everybody wins. I like that idea. Don't think it's gonna happen. I, I don't see that happening. Um especially since like the Okay, consider this. Look at, this is the second to last episode of season five. And this is the one when Clay comes up with that idea. You would think from first glimpse that, oh, okay, this is how they're going to write Clay out of the series. I don't think that's going to happen. I think the only way Clay is leaving this series is in a pine box, to be honest. So, I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. All right, let's see. What do we want to talk about? What do I want to talk about now? Oh, let's talk about the thing with the Irish. Okay. I expected... I expected that to end poorly. Now, granted, I didn't expect Romeo to be the one responsible for it, but I figured it would have been something once Jax pretty much broke the news to him that, you know, we're cutting ties, we don't want to do deals anymore. I figured the Irish were going to be pretty pissed off about that. Surprisingly, though, it seems like Jax was almost able to sway homeboy until Romeo and his crew came to fuck it up. Anyway, 
regardless of either it was Romeo, it was Jax, or if it was the Irish, I figured that wasn't going to end well. There was no way. No way. Especially since we know Homeboy can't stand Jax for shit. He hates Jax. Hates him. So I, you know, Romeo and the cartel doing what they did, okay, it was, it was, it was a, a surprise ending to what I already expected. Certainly didn't make matters any easier for Jax though. Um, who I'm about to talk about that motherfucker in a minute. We we gon' we gonna talk about that. Um Okay, let's talk about the US Marshal. Number one. Number one, first and foremost. I'm mad I can't remember the actor's name who plays the Marshal. But I look I, I, I actually like I'm a fan of this actor's work. Um, he is a damn good actor, and I think they picked a pretty good, um, I think they made a good cast for that character, especially when you consider that, um, that his FX series, which was, um, what was that called? That was Terriers. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Terriers got canceled. So the fact that, you know, he, he's still working with FX and he's working on one of their, you know, biggest shows, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, and like I say, he is a good fucking actor. Um, but I, I have, I have no, I don't know where, what, okay, let me not, okay, let me not lie. I have an idea of where the Marshall, you know, what's going to happen with him. Um, if the Marshall is referencing the character from Hamlet that I think he's referencing, then I have some idea of what that of what the Marshall's story arc and his character arc is going to consist of, if I'm right on that. But it's still too early to make that assessment. It's more of just a hunch, and it's not really based off of any evidence shown in the episode. So it's too soon to make that call. I might just have to wait until the finale. And then, based off of what he does in the finale, then I might be able to make some reasonable assessments. And that'll probably happen in my Season 6 Expectations video. But it, it's just too early to call yet. But I have an idea, just too early. Um, and by extension of that, okay, I will say this. The preview for the finale when Tara was talking about leaving, who called that? This guy. And I, and, and, I, and I still think that's the smartest thing she could possibly do. Do I think she'll be able to? No. But you got to give her credit for at least trying and at least finally getting fed up and having the conviction to see that fucking thing through. I don't think Jax is going to let her leave. I sure as shit hope so, though. Wendy. Okay, I'll save Wendy for the end of my Jax discussion. But before I jump into Jax, Bobby. Last week, I didn't agree with what Bobby did. This week, after stating his reasons for doing it and actually finding out, you know, what it was that he did, um... Uh, I'm sorry, I gotta side with Bobby I have to because It makes sense And you gotta remember, Bobby is trying to he, He's the one caught in the middle He's the one caught in the thick of this He's trying to preserve peace and order And try to, you know Keep everything together And so the deal he made with Clay Yeah, that made sense And Looking at it from Bobby's perspective, no, he has a point. That wasn't betrayal. Of course, we knew that's what Jax was going to take it as, but technically it's not. Because remember, above, above all, Bobby is the VP. And that deal he made, you know, you know, Bobby's whole thing about how, you know, he did it for Jax and all. And, and I'm, not, I'm not concerned with that. What I'm concerned with is that Bobby made a decision that was best for the club whereas you can you it, it's so obvious that we know by this time jacks wanting to get rid of clay that's personal and it seems like bobby's deal 
that supersedes personal. You know, that was for the club. And it made sense. And I think Bobby was in the right on that. Now let's talk about this motherfucker, Jax. You know, and it's so, ooh, it's so hard. Well, no, 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 technically it's not hard, but what I'm saying is it's just so nerve-wracking because Jax is my favorite character in the show, but I'm sorry. I can't co-sign anything Jax did in this week's episode, especially the shit he pulled with Wendy. I'm sorry. No. Jax was in the wrong. Wendy was in the right. I do not... I do not, under any circumstance whatsoever, blame Wendy at all for reacting the way she did. Number one, after being kidnapped, and then number two, after learning the information that she learned. Wendy saying what she said, Wendy acting the way she did, I do not blame her at all. She was in the right. And she, she had the right to do that. What Jax did, though, that shit was appalling. And I, I'm sorry. I, I, I tried to take Jack's side on, on, on the majority of his shit. But I cannot co-sign that. Nope. Can't, I, I, don't, I don't endorse that. That was fucked up. Jack was in the wrong. I don't endorse that. Nah. Sorry. Don't endorse it. I don't know what to say about Jax, man, to be honest with you. Other than I saw it coming. And we and we we knew, we the audience, we knew this was gonna happen. After it's like I said, after Opie left, that was it, man. The the, the Jax we knew from the previous four seasons is gone. And yeah, so. That's going to do it for this week's Sons of Anarchy review. I want to thank you all for joining me again this week. And in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this week's episode, as well as your predictions for the finale. Um, later this week, uh, I think the only video I'm going to upload this week it's going to be, I think there's a new Arrow episode tomorrow night, and I'll review that. Um, I won't be reviewing, I won't be uploading any videos this weekend, uh, because I will be attending New Orleans Comic Con. Uh, OAW Comics has a table there, and we will be selling Totems Issue 1. Speaking of which, Totems Issue 1 is on sale um, as the annotations suggest um, currently it's available on graphically.com for Kindle and for um, iPad you know on iTunes and whatnot but if you need help with the links um, links will be in the description box below links can also be found if you go to my channel you'll notice there's a new channel banner click on the icon for your preferred format and that'll lead you to the links for issue one with that being said this has been larry williams oaw command in chief i'm signing off and until next time peace